A business intelligence analyst, also known as a BI analyst, uses data and other information to help organization make sound business decisions. Did you know? According to latest reports, there will be around 14% increase in the demand for BI analyst up till the year 2024. With that, I, Bhavita, on behalf of Edureka, welcome you all to this session where we will be discussing how to become a BI analyst or a business intelligence analyst. So let's take a look at the agenda for today, where we will be addressing why one should become a BI analyst and then who is a BI analyst. Further, we'll look into how one can become a business intelligence analyst and then look at the roles and responsibility. Finally, get started with preparation of BI analyst. Before we move ahead in the session today, kindly take some time to subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if you're interested in online training certification for business intelligence, do check out the link given in the description box below. To understand why one should become a business analyst, there should be a several aspects that you should be looking into. First being the job opportunities. Well, speaking of job opportunities, in India, there are up to 6,000 vacant jobs as per now, and this includes both for experienced as well as freshers. While in the US, there are up to 43,000 vacant jobs. Now, this data is based on data available on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, or even Indeed. Similarly, we need to take a look at the Silicon Valleys because Silicon Valleys always offers ample number of jobs. Now, speaking of Silicon Valley of India, Bangalore offers around 2,000 vacant jobs, includes freshers and experienced, while that of California offers up to 4,300 jobs. Now, again, this includes data collected through LinkedIn and Glassdoor. The next aspect which comes into your picture when you are starting your preparation to become a BI analyst would be salaries. Definitely we've got you covered here and average salary in India comes up to 6 lakh per year while in US comes up to $91,000 per year. Now again this data is collected through LinkedIn and Glassdoor. Now, through this, you can understand this is an average salary which includes even for freshers and until experienced. So this salary can go up to 10 lakh if you're experienced or even beyond that. With that said, I hope this might have satisfied you to start your preparations for BI analyst. Well, if not yet, we'll go ahead in today's session and understand who is a BI analyst, why one should become a BI analyst and further more questions. Well, the next thing that you will have in your head is who is hiring? Which are the companies or where should I apply? Well, these are the companies that you should be applying for. Now, as you can see in the data collected here, most of the product based companies is hiring for BI analyst. Now you can say by this that every company which is product based predominantly is looking for a business intelligence head. Now, what does business intelligence mean? Like I gave in the start of today's session, BI is basically applying intelligence to one's business. Now, already established service based companies, definitely they would need BI analyst, but they would not need in such dominance because they have already established. So they need someone who can manage and go through to take forward. But while product based company, they always need to think in innovative way, think outside the box. This is where a business intelligence analyst comes into picture and hence applying for product based company is always a go here. Hope that was clear. With that, let's move on to our next session, which covers as to who is a business analyst. Now, basically, like I said in the start of today's session, business intelligence analyst is someone who applies their knowledge or their experience or perhaps their intelligence into business making into project making into establishing new aspect in their business so business intelligence analyst who is also known as bi analyst like i said uses data and other information to help organization make sound business decisions now of course there are several aspects one has to consider in order to become a business analyst now some of these aspects includes data mining 
reporting, descriptive analysis, statistical analysis, data visualization, visualization analysis, querying, data preparation. Now, through all these processes, you realize that these are the tasks that has to be covered as a BI analyst. So mining of data is very important as in when you get reports or as in when you get raw data from your clients perhaps or even your end users, customers. You have to clean it. You have to analyze it. You have to report, make reports of it. Give a descriptive analysis, statistical plot graphs and give a visualization out of it. Now we will approach as to how we can visualize these data further ahead in the session today. So querying is important, visual analysis is important. So these are the common tasks a BI analyst have to carry on. So I hope that was clear and you got to know what a BI analyst does in a skeleton. With that, we'll understand how exactly does an organization benefit out of BI analyst. Now there are several ways one organization can benefit. Some of the points I've covered here, which is to identify ways to increase profit. Like I said, applying intelligence to any job will always benefit them. Now imagine you have a protocol that has been followed. What if something comes out of the box? What if something comes uh, which you have not anticipated? That is where a business intelligence analyst comes into picture and he will think as to how this particular situation can be handled. This is where you can increase your profits. The next thing is to analyze customer behavior. Just like I said, a customer might feel unsatisfied or dissatisfied at any given point of time. There he might just change his requirement. And these things should in prior be analyzed by someone because these things are the ones which consume a lot of time. Now, if it has been analyzed prior, it will consume time and money also, efforts perhaps. So this is where a BI analyst will come into picture. The next thing is to compare data with competitors. Now who will do? If there is a developer and tester, he will just work on that particular product or delivering that particular product to the team. But how do you know if this product is doing good in the market? How do you know if this is beating someone else in the market? This is where a BI analyst will collect all the data and make a report out of it. The next thing is to track performance. It's not just important just to maintain your records or to reach to the customer's requirements. Sometimes the performance will break down time to time. It is important for us to keep track and maintain that balance. This is where a BI analyst will help you do that. The next thing is to optimize operations. Of course, the end operations will be maintained by the person who has created it. Now to optimize or to give the requirements of optimization will be done by a BI analyst. You need to predict success without seeing what is the outcome or at least drafting the outcome. No one can actually work on an end product. You need to spot market trends. Now without analyzing the market values like we just discussed about competitors, you don't know where to stand. Perhaps what product would you make? Now, without knowing the market trends, you will not know which product you should be making to which customization. The next thing is to discover issues and problems. Definitely with every business, every project that you encounter, there will be certain problems, be it big or small. Now, this has to be documented prior with a good intelligence. With that being understood, we will move on to our next session, which says how to become a BI analyst. Now we have well understood who is a BI analyst, what does he do, how this will benefit an organization. So we need to understand how should we become one because all these things can be answered only when you know how you can become a BI analyst. This is where our job description will come into picture. Now, if you go through several job descriptions, you will know and understand as to what we should be learning for. So going through these job descriptions, we will come to a conclusion of skills that we should be learning or even tools that we should be learning as a BI analyst. So let's go through the job description here. Again, a very popular online platform, which is Disney plus Hotstar. They are hiring for a BI analyst. Now, what are the requirements that they're seeing? 
So I've taken a job description here where I have highlighted few points which summarizes the requirements of the person who has to be working as BI analyst. Now it says that he should be well versed in Power BI, Tableau, prepare and analyze data, data analytics perhaps, there is R, SQL, Python, good communication skills, analytical skills. Well, through this, I have summarized all the points which goes like Power BI and Tableau is a must and should tool. You should have good analysis of data, good communication skill, which is a general one to everything. There's SQL, there's Python or R. Now, if this is not enough, we'll go ahead and see one more job description, which is Dell. Now, Dell is a popular service-based and product-based company as well. Here, I have summarized to project management. Yes, project management is also one important skill. Of course, this will not be asked in every company, but in most of the company or several companies, this could be asked. Why not be unprepared, right? Let's be prepared on every possible skill that will be asked in every kind of company as a BI analyst. There's project management again, Power BI, Python and SQL. As you can see, as we go ahead in several job descriptions here, Power BI, Python and SQL stays constant. Let's see one more, which is Puma again, another product based company. And here again, we have Power BI, Excel, data analysis, SQL and Python. So from this, we can conclude some of the skills that we need to become a BI analyst. So as we have come across, we need some database concepts, SQL predominantly. SQL is must and should be known by everybody who is applying for BI analyst, Excel. Now Excel is also one more important tool that is to be known by a BI analyst. If you have good Excel skills, you can actually analyze data. Now, sometimes there are cases where people do not know any kind of data visualization tools. Did you know that these kind of data visualization can be done even in Excel? So knowing Excel is an added advantage. Analytical skills, of course, being an analyst, analytical skill is a must and should. Power BI. Now here I can go ahead and add Tableau also. The next thing is Python. Python is where you use, it is a programming language where you use for your data visualization. Now to plot graphs or even to make your analyzation of data easy, you can use Python. So usage of Python is very important. So make sure you know Python. Now project management skills here. I must mention most of the skills that I mentioned here or perhaps even every skill that I just mentioned here. We have courses for everything on our channel. I'll speak about it towards the end of today's session. But here I had to mention that be it SQL or Microsoft Excel or even analytical skills, Power BI, Python, project management. Also, we have course on our website. Now, if you think that you don't want to do the course, you are good enough and you just want to brush up, you can go ahead on our YouTube channel also. Like I said, I'll be speaking about it in the end of today's session. Now, moving forward, we have R language also. R again is used predominantly when you have to clean data, you have to process data or even plot some visualizations. You need to be using R. Tableau, Again, one of the data visualization tools, just like Power BI. Now at this point, I would have to mention that here, it is not just the skills. You need to be aware of certain tools as a BI analyst. Now in the job descriptions, if you are an experienced person, there are chances you, that you will be asked for a tool based experience. Now, speaking of that, we will address some of the tools here. Companies use different tools. Now here I have spoken about SAP business objects, data pine, micro strategy, SAS PI intelligence, there's ClickSense, there's Zoho analytics, SciSense, and even Power BI is a tool. Now these are some of the tools that companies predominantly use. Some of them are free. Some of them have trial basis. So you can go ahead and pick any one of them or even you can search on web and you'll find several number of BI tools. So with that, we will move on to our roles and responsibilities. Now, as a BI analyst, it is very important that you know 
certain roles and responsibilities prior to starting your preparation. So the first thing you need to know is you need to be learning and fully understanding the data landscape in databases and applications. So data is your king. Now everything that you have to work is in and around data. So make sure you understand and study data completely. The next thing is using and developing data collection process. Again, it surrounds around data itself. So it will be around understanding data. The next thing will be around collecting data. So everything will revolve around data itself. The next thing is reviewing and validating. Here you can understand there is a sequence or a step of responsibility that a BI analyst have to follow. The next thing is gathering end user reporting and dashboard requirements. Finally, you have to review, validate, maintain customer data as collected. Also, maintaining is very, very important. Make sure you will always maintain good data and also your projects. Finally, understanding all this brings us to one last question. Where do I start or how do I start? That's why we've got you covered. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have little bit knowledge, then you can go ahead and just brush it up with our YouTube channel. We have several number of videos from scratch of BI analyst to extreme understanding of BI analyst. Now, if you think you have good time in hand, I recommend you go and read the blogs also way where we have BI interview questions as well. Now, if you think you don't know anything about it, I need some professional help. Worry not because we have this course known as Master Program Business Intelligence Certificate where you will have a lifetime access to this BI course. Now, if you register once, you'll have lifetime access and there'll be a professional help throughout your course. Now, this can be accessed anywhere, anytime. That said, we have come to the end of today's session and I hope this session has given you a clear cut idea as to where, who and how to start to become a BI analyst. I wish you all the best and until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!